All right, so the second part of the assignment is to create some circle artwork, and you can actually have a lot of fun with the compass. Um, I'll kind of show you a couple things you can do, but I am positive you could figure out even more things. So I want to start, I kind of want my circle to be somewhat small. I'm just going to start by just making a little circle. And then from there, I'm going to put the point of my compass on the circumference of that circle and make another one. Then I'm going to put the point of my compass on the where the two circles met. Ooh, that already looks kind of cool. Got a little trifecta going. And you can keep going. Then I'm going to do this one. And if I keep my compass the same, if I don't move it, your circles will start um, crossing each other in really cool places. So already I've got something kind of cool here and I could keep going and going and going and make it bigger and bigger. I could add some, um, I could add some pretty colors. Um, you know, start by coloring in some of these orange. You know, play around. You are the artist here. Um, and it's fun to see what we can do with the compass. So have your colored pencils ready too and start creating. And you, I mean, this is just an example. You don't have to do it this way. There's been some cool things that other kids have done with the compass. So um, if you want to you finish your compass artwork and you want to share it with the class, um, let me know and I can post it on Canvas for other fourth graders to see for inspiration. Have fun!